Hello students, I, Ms. Priyatama Pohar, Assistant Professor, Pharmaceutics Department, Dr. Deva Patel, College of Pharmacy, Akuri, welcome you all for today's session, Production of Indataran by Recombinant DNA Technology. The learning outcome, after watching this video, you will able to understand basic concepts of interferon, classify interferon into three types, summarize mechanism of action of interferon, discuss production of recombinant interferon and hybrid interferon, summarize various therapeutic applications of interferon, discuss about what is interferon. Interferon is an antiviral substance and is the first line defense against viral attack. The term interferon has originated from interference of these molecules on viral replication. It was originally discovered in 1957 by Alec Hissan and Liebman and was considered to be a single substance. All these interferons are protein in nature and many of them are glycoprotein. Let's discuss about a different classes of interferon. Interferon can be classified into these three classes alpha interferon, beta interferon and gamma interferon. As you can see in this table, the right hand side gives the idea for the source of interferon. Alpha interferon are generated by help of monocytes and B lymphocytes. Interferon beta fibroblast and epithelial cell and gamma interferons are generated with the help of T cells. Let's discuss in detail about various parameters related to alpha, beta and gamma. This table describes the properties and different parameters like current nomenclature for alpha, interferon alpha, interferon beta, interferon gamma. For the case of former designation, it can be generated by leukocyte, fibroblast and immune interferon. The type of designation type 1, type 1 and type 2 for alpha, beta and gamma. Number of genes that encoded for the family, it is up to 20 for beta 1 and gamma 1. The principal cell source for alpha, most of cells for beta, most cell type and gamma lymphocyte. Induction agent for alpha viruses, double stranded RNA for beta, double stranded RNA and for gamma, mitogenes. So, these are the various parameters related to alpha, beta and gamma. As you can see, this table also describes about stability at pH 2 in which it shows gamma interferons are labile in a case of very less pH. Homology with interferon alpha that will show for alpha it is up to 80 to 95 for beta up to 30 percent and for gamma less than 10 percent chromosomal location of gene for alpha 9 beta 9 and gamma 12 so these are nothing but different parameters related to alpha beta and gamma interfer let's discuss about mechanism of action of interfer as you can see, in a case of this diagram, interferons are produced by mammalian cell when it is infected by virus, as you can see in this particular diagram. As virus entered into mammalian cell, the, as virus releases its nucleic acid into cellular cytoplasm, it stimulates the host, host DNA to produce the interferon as you can see in this particular diagram. After that, these interferons secreted, which are secreted by host cells, are going to bind to adjacent cell, where they stimulate the cellular DNA to produce the series of 
antiviral enzymes. So, as you can see, the secreted interferon by first cell entered into the second adjacent cell, which produces the antiviral enzymes. These antivirus enzymes, so form proteins, inhibits the viral replication and protect the cell from the infection. These protective enzymes or protein bind to mRNA of virus and block the protein synthesis process. So, the action of interferon appears to be species specific. Thus, human interferon are only operate in a human which is not applicable for the animal. So, here is the question. Please pause this video and give me the answer for this question. Which type of microorganism used for production of interferon? Oh, you write down answer on the paper? Let's see for production process of interferon. The first production process of interferon with the help of recombinant DNA technology. In this way, as you can see in this particular diagram, the step for procedure is given. The first step is the complementary DNA that is cDNA was synthesized from mRNA of specific interferon. This is inserted into a vector as we already discussed in a earlier aid production process of insulin or somatotropic, the plasmid which is commonly used for insertion of beneficial genes which is introduced into the further bacteria that is E. coli or other cells. So this is the insertion step, second step. After that, interferon can be isolated from a culture media which is carried out by production of huge number of E. coli from second step. This is the basic mechanism for production of recombinant interferon. Let's discuss about the second stage that is production of hybrid interferon. As you can see in this particular diagram, interferon alpha and alpha 2 and alpha 3. These two genes are shown in the diagram which are digested by restriction endonuclear enzyme. The resulting fragments are ligated with the help of DNA ligase that will help to regenerate a hybrid gene. These appropriate hybrid genes can be selected and that will be used for production of an hybrid interferon. E. coli can be utilized for this process. So, this is the process for production of an hybrid interferon. Let's discuss about therapeutic applications of interferon. Interferon are used for the treatment of large number of viral diseases and cancers like leukemia, sarcoma, bladder cancer, head and neck cancer, renal cell carcinoma, skin cancer and multiple myeloma. As we already discussed, there are different type of interferon that will use as a first line defense mechanism after viral infection. During this particular process, interferon stimulates the action of natural killer cell and that is the mechanism behind destruction of a cancerous cell. So, it can be utilized for anti-cancer therapy. Other than this, it can be utilized for other diseases like for AIDS, multiple sclerosis, genital warts, hepatitis C and herpes zoster. These are the other diseases where interferons use in a therapeutic aspect. Interferon also employed in a treatment of common cold and influenza. So, this slide and diagram gives the wide illustration about therapeutic applications of interferon. In today's lecture, we discuss about what is interferon, the basic structure of interferon, what are the different classes of interferon in detail? What is the mechanism action of interferon? Then production with the help of recombinant interferon, production of hybrid interferon and therapeutic applications of 
सिंगर है थैंक यू